It is the 8th of November 2017, and that can mean only one thing. It is time for episode 32 of Boruto, The Quest for Souvenirs. It's time to buy some souvenirs. That was not a great intro. And honestly, if, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, this was a difficult episode for me. I mean, the series, Boruto as a series, has dealt with many issues so far, um, but none quite so troubling. I mean, l look at this scene. Himawari looks so happy, so carefree. She's enjoying life. She's so happy to be alive. Yet moments later, her smile and optimism, gone. A mere shell of her former self. But you know who wasn't gone? Kagura. Even if he's not showing up again for a while, he'll probably come back because he's Chojo's uh, apprentice now. So whenever the Kage are involved, uh, Kagura will be there. And honestly, that does make me really happy because his arc has been really cool, in my opinion. Definitely, I think, the best, well, quote-unquote, bad guy of the series so far. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how he uh, develops and stuff and shows up later on in the series. And man, talking about turning up again, it was so cool to see the postman from the Ghost Arc come back. This series is doing a really great job of making like even small characters matter and it makes the world, as a result, feel a little more fleshed out, if that makes sense. Obviously, Naruto and Shippuden uh, both had background characters that would reappear and stuff, like the Ichiraku Ramen owner and stuff like that. You know, it was cool, but this series is definitely making a conceited effort to actually make you care and, you know, remember about these characters. And yeah, I'll say that overall is a pretty light episode with a bunch of funny bits. And that's exactly what I expected. This is a wrap-up episode, after all, of the uh, Blood Mist arc. And it was really cool as well to kind of see the focus switch between Boruto and Kagura back and forth. And yeah, this episode was actually kind of funny in part. The uh, part with Mitsuki's finger swelling, I don't know, really made me laugh. Uh, it just came out of nowhere. I think it's just the fact that his expression remains the same as it happens. Also, I know that talk about making me laugh, I just had to put this screenshot in. I know, I am a child, my sense of humour is bottom of the barrel, <laughs> but holy shit, watching this just out of context is fantastic, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's forget about that and let's get on to next time. Looks like it's going to be an Inogen episode, which I'm really cool with, because Mitsuki has kind of taken over the role of being the very blunt friend. So Inujin has kind of become more of a secondary character, so it is actually cool to see more of him. And of course, that does mean also we'll get to see more of my boy Shikamaru. And also Ino, who is probably one of the best girls, I think. After Hinata, obviously. And man, this has been a really quick episode this week, although admittedly there's not all that much to talk about, so, you know. And with that said, thank you very much for watching this, like, three minute episode or something. And if you did enjoy this episode and would like to hear more in the future, then maybe consider subscribing. And of course, letting me know how you felt about this episode with a thumbs up or thumbs down would be very much appreciated, as I always love hearing feedback. As do I always like seeing comments, so if you do have anything to add or want to tell me to get my mind out of the gutter, then do feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Oh, and also, uh, if this interests any of you, uh, this weekend I took part in the Extra Life charity event. It's a 24-hour gaming marathon, so I'm going to be putting a playlist at the end of this episode, filled with four video journals during it and some of the live stream footage that I did on YouTube. It was pretty fun, and I might do something similar in the future. And as always, until next time... Goodbye!